Hello everyone, I am Dr. Eric Morrison. This is 7 out of 3, and I'll be covering trading education using the TC2000 and TradingView platforms. Hello, this is the Forex Week in Review, the 28 majors and minors and 6 exotics. And mainly I'm focusing on two negatively correlated strategies. One deals with overall trend, and the other one is turn picking. Big hat tip to Jason Shapiro for teaching me the turn picking technique. It has really augmented both the trend trading strategy and the turn picking piece, where I can actually spot a turn in the market based on position. Let's start off with the Aussie dollar Canadian dollar. We had uh, one standard trend trade on the Forex loss of $71. Aussie dollar Swiss franc overall trend trade to the upside nice gain of $205. Now all the color codes here were the positioning for last week. This is the positioning for this week. So as it mixed overall trend trade two trades $540 gain for the week. Aussie dollar New Zealand dollar last week was crowded short. It was a week short, so we went long and was out for a loss of $77 on Tuesday. Same for Aussie dollar, US dollar. Nice overall gain of $517 for the week. Okay, that's Swiss franc. Nice overall gain for the week, $217. Next was Euro Aussie dollar. Overall loss of $70 for the week. Next was Euro New Zealand. Nice gain, $168. Euro South African Rand. Nice gain of $306. British pound, Aussie dollar. Loss 120. However, British pound, Canadian dollar, nice overall gain for the week, $150. Best gainer for the week was last week was mixed, standard trend trading, $1,194. British pound, US dollar, beautiful gains. We had a give back on Thursday, ended up with $171. As I said before, the Zealand US dollar was the best in terms of probabilities, and it showed nice gains overall of 806. US dollar Swiss franc, nice gain overall on Wednesday, and a give back on Thursday, $42 gain. I had no signal here for the flow of money going completely negative here, so I did not pull the trigger on this indication here. A nice gain on US dollar, Canadian dollar. However, US dollar, South African Rand did have some nice gains. First give back, then nice over gains on Thursday. Overall gains were $326. Gains overall were $4,306. They did not scale up on contracts. It stayed with one standard lot. Overall wins were 12 with four losses, 75% win rate there. So looking into next week, we have a crowded longs, a strong selling positioning, Aussie dollar, Japanese yen, New Zealand, Swiss franc, New Zealand, Japanese yen, US dollar, Swiss franc, and South African rand, Japanese yen. With weak buying positioning or light blue, we got Aussie dollar, US dollar by itself. With strong buying positioning, the greens, Swiss franc, South African rand, British pound, New Zealand dollar, British pound, US dollar, British pound, South African rand, New Zealand, US dollar, US dollar, Mexican peso. Weak selling position, we have Canadian dollar, Japanese yen, Euro Aussie dollar, Euro Canadian dollar, Euro Swiss franc, Euro British pound, Euro Japanese yen, Euro New Zealand, Euro US, Euro South African rand, British pound, Swiss franc, British pound, Japanese yen, US dollar, Japanese yen. The rest of them are mixed. Looking at the currency category, we don't have a cut end for this week. Currencies are mixed and as you can see as the dollar continues to move down all the foreign currencies move up because they are negatively correlated. No real advantage other than trend trading for next week. Looking at the dollar by itself it's caught between the R270 and the 200 with this doji here could potentially mark continued downward pressure to the downside once it gets beyond the 200 and we got a mark out at about 103,500, the Z3. Incredible room to the downside. Well, folks, that's all I have for the Forex Week in Review. We're currently conducting courses in the Forex, programming in PineScript or Python, auto trading, and if you want to join Crowded Market Report to understand the commitment of traders tables that are outlined here, click on the links below. And remember, ruthless risk management. Have a great weekend, everybody, and I'll see you on Sunday. Well, if you like this video, hit the like rumble button below and the subscribe button. And if you want more information, click the course information links below. On the TradingView link and on TC2000, I have an affiliate link. If you open up a TC2000 account, you will receive a $25 discount using that link. Thank you for your time.